Let's keep on going. I don't think... Yeah, there, there was nothing here. Uh, I got it just in time, I think. I did get it, but it didn't really help any because I needed to heal in the first place. So, let's head down here. Nothing more that we can do up there. And, if I remember right, we should get to the room with the save point. It is the room with the save point. Deactivate electromagnetic floor. I shall. I shouldn't need to save here. I sure hope that I don't need to save here. But let's just yeah deactivate it, and now we have to watch it in action. And now everybody can move around, but we are now free to go through there as well, which is much appreciated. I actually don't even really need to heal again and rest, but I probably should just to be on the safe side. There is somebody here. It's Drankoff. How you doing, buddy? And your mothership is back there. Don't let your guard down! Of course not. I will use this. I probably will. Let's move on. I don't think you actually need to disable the, the electromagnetic floor, but I could use the experience even if I don't have to get it. Let's blow this stuff up, get an escape pack, and two skill upgrade A's. Once again, lots of upgrades. I will use them eventually, just I don't just really feel like I need them at the moment. Medkit S. I will take it, and then we'll get into another fight. Continuing forward, we got two that I think I need to kill, unfortunately. They don't seem to want to fight me very much, but there they are. I'll take them both out. And as a result of that battle, I was able to get enough ether points to level up Xion's ether so she could learn Medica All. HP recovery mid on all allies. It's a pretty damn nice spell, I must say. But I still think that it is still more uh, cost-efficient to use Medica outside of that uh, than it is to use that. Uh, way to go through here, an escape pack in there, and Ether Upgrade S, and an escape pack, so two escape packs. I will take it, and we are ready to go. Uh, what I should actually do, though, because you might have saw that I was a little bit low on MP, thanks to all these rather difficult fights, is I should probably go back in here and save once more. At least use the biosphere. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to save, and I'll probably use some of the upgrades this time, but we'll see. Meet you on the other side. Okay, all rested and saved. I ended up not using any of the upgrades. We'll see if I can get away with it. Um, uh, this is not going to be an easy fight. Yeah, spoiler alert, there's going to be a fight. As if, as if we could figure that out. Use the lift. Yes, use the lift. I bet you guys were wondering what we were going to do in here eventually. But we do have to go down here. And unfortunately, they have cut off all back routes. So you have to go through here and take on these guys once again. Just try to get these killed as soon as possible. Don't try to get points on these battles. You need as much health as you can get. Luckily, I didn't get too much damage done to me, but there's still one more to go, I think. Too much damage at all. All right, that was the last one. Xion did level up to level 11. As a result, she got a new tech attack. It's the first, well, third one that we've gotten, if that makes sense. So, we now have Shock Blade, which I do believe you need to be close for. We're going to go ahead and set that here. And... Yeah, we'll put it on all of them. There. If I could get the buttons right. So, Lightning Blast if we are close. Shock Blade if... Well, we need the full one. The full six ones. We're close, it does enemy one enemy near pierce s different status effects by equipping cartridges we haven't really gone over cartridges yet but we will eventually i think in turn i think that's pretty much it can you use anything you can't level up speed which is what i really want unfortunately and you 
are so close to leveling up our blade. Unfortunately, it's just not going to happen. So let me use a couple healing items real fast here. There we go. All ready and set to go, I hope. Let's move on into the final room down here. Did I give it away that there was going to be a, a big thing to fight? I have been talking about the mothership this whole time. We've got... The, the music continues even during the cutscene. If we disable that thing, we'll put a stop to the auto-tech invasion. And they give you every opportunity to, to adjust your party before you do that. I don't think there's anything here for me to grab. I don't think so. Okay, let's see what we can do. Do I head down this way? No, I need to head around, of course. Can I just approach it from the rear? Now, you don't get preemptive strikes by doing that, even though you should. Nothing down here that, well, something's blocking our path, so we can't get down there. Take it on. And it is boss time. I've come this far, I can't lose now. We are up against the Domo Carrier here. Now the Domo Carrier is, as I'm sure you'll imagine, weak to lightning. So I'm going to be using lightning a lot. Maybe not. Not not Shion's lightning, apparently. So what I should do here? Do you have an ether? Um, I don't think it attacks using ether. So no, 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 no. You're gonna be fine. You just do an arrow and hang out in the back. It looks like it is much weaker. Oh, analyzing event slot. Oh, great. It picked. It picked critical hit for fucking tremors. This is this is not gonna be good. Okay, um, you need to use an item immediately. Give, uh, get her up. She needs to get up. Super, so this is going swimmingly so far. Let's go ahead and use an R cannon, which is pretty much going to be our main damage deal this entire time. So now, pretty much whenever the critical up event slot comes up, he's going to be using tremors. So, everybody... <laughs> you catch that one? We need to heal up as much as we can before that happens because he's going to get the turn. If he, Well, if he gets the turn on it, then he uses that. So, avoid that if you can. Uh, we still need to heal, so we're going to do... Oh, she said way more than that game, but I will give you... There we go. Almost 170 healing every time. Much better. So, hopefully, he will never get his turn on um, on the critical up slot again, because then he'll use tremors, and you saw what that did. So, let's go ahead and use Lunar Seal. We have not seen that one before. It's not like we're going to kill him this time. Very interesting attack from Chaos, I must say. But once again, he is my favorite character. I think he is probably the most all-around inside of battle. Once again, favorite in battle. I don't really have a favorite inside of battle. But. Okay, spell right. Because the other one did crap for damage, even though it should do more because it's technically lightning blast. Much more, much more. I swear he was weak to... Lightning attacks, but you know, what am I gonna do? Once again, our cannon, and we should get enough after this one for a boost for Cosmos, which is pretty much our main strategy: is boosting Cosmos when we can. Boost. Just let's make sure that he's not getting that attack off on, on Critical Up, because that could kill my entire party. You want to keep your HP usually above 300 because that's how much damage it typically does. But I don't really have that option this time. I wanted to make sure that we got that critical up. 
and Chaos dead, but we're just going to use it for one attack and stop. That's all I can really do. Um, yeah, we could, we could keep going with Spell right here. That'll be fine. That's fine. And then once he gets his turn... Go ahead and do the Shion. Laser rifle, but was defended. Nicely done. Go for another spell ray. This is definitely a guy that you want to get the points for. He is a big ass boss, after all, so get the points if you can. That's a pretty big if, I must say. Hey, there we go. Your seal on a critical. That sounds good to me. Oh, so close to a boost. It doesn't, do, it doesn't do that much damage. What do you want me to say? But Cosmos does. Cosmos does quite a bit of damage. And she gets a boost so I can prevent the critical up happening on his turn. Hopefully yeah, he gets his turn now and he recovers. Of course he does. For 600! you kidding me? 600? He was so close to dead. Uh. You get your turn on critical now. Just so he doesn't. This guy could, he can take a while. One thing though, you don't want to let him get under 200 if you can avoid that. Under 200 HP. And tendency to not like being under 200 HP, and it doesn't result in him, well, healing. <laughs> uh, yeah, just a that's enough there. Do I really need to heal? I should. I should heal just on the off chance. Unleash some of thy power. On the off chance that he gets the turn next, he shouldn't, but just in case, we should be pretty prepared for it. Okay. So what was it? Ah, I already forgot. Damn it! Just gonna pay attention. Oh shit, that does a lot of damage. Okay, 351. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. What do you do? 58. Don't don't you fucking kill him. Don't you kill him, Cosmos! Don't you do it! I don't think that did it! Now it's your turn. You better pull this off, Shion. Shion. You better get this. Fucking Shion didn't do it. Fucking Shion didn't do it, so he self destructs. And I don't get the points. Ah, Shion, you disappoint me greatly. That's what happens when you get him under 200 HP. I thought we would be able to pull it off. I was wrong. You still get all the points, though, but you don't get the, the bonus points. As you can see, he gives 26 tech points standard. So if I got, you know, times 10 on that, that's 260 points that I missed out on. Shion. Ah, just hurry up. How much? Damn, level up across the board. Everybody's up to level 12 now. Anti-beam armor acquired. I will take it. I was about to say, the battle music's still going. We should be done. We took out the mothership. That was all that you required of me, game. You said that was enough. Back on board, the Elsa. Well, we never really left, but you know what I mean. How you doing, Captain look. Matthew? We got problems all over. The entire radar system is down. I bet the emitter's completely fried now. The generator output keeps on dropping. I guess we ran the ship into the hyperspace column walls a few times too many, thanks to a certain idiot who flies like a maniac. What? Hey! Who do you think it was that saved us? I wish you'd consider what the navigator has to go through. I'm getting carpal tunnel thanks to you. Why don't you just direct Lincoln? Isn't it obvious? It's way cooler to navigate by hand. 
Are you stupid or something? Mind your own business. At least I'm more useful than a certain out-of-control lunatic. Oh, okay now. So you think you're the man, huh? You wanna go? What you got? Bring it on. That's enough! Be... Both of you morons, shut up! I'm sick of listening to your whining! My head hurts enough just thinking about what these repairs are gonna cost. The last thing I need is to babysit the two of you. This place falls apart without chaos. We're back. No. Oh, if I had known I'd be doing this, I would have spent more time at the firing range. Hmm? What's going on? Nothing. Good work. So, who are these guys? She's Momo. And this is Ziggy. Looks like they're both with the Federation government. Nice to meet you. You two were the ones in the ship out there? Thank you very much for rescuing us. Thanks for your help. They were being held by the UTIC organization, but they managed to escape. The UTIC organization? Captain. Never thought I'd have to hear that cursed name again. What's the big deal what with the Utigar? That you, whatever. Nothing yeah. you need to worry about. Damn it! Stop wasting time and plot our course already. You Nobody gives it. me. It's nothing a stupid navigator needs to worry about. <gasps> Get him, hammer. No, oh, he's not gonna do it. Alan, hurry up and clean up the top of the panel. The stuff's in the way. What? You're the one who left these here. Don't take it out on me. Transference. It always works out that way. Always works out that way. This is for you. Thanks, Cosmos. Alan, Wait, Cosmos is up already. What's wrong with you? Uh, Waitressing? Just set it down there. The hell? I'm telling you, that was crazy. It was a close one, wasn't it? I gotta say, though, those were some pretty sweet moves out there, old man. Thank you very much. What? Whoa! Hold on a sec, that was you? Well, yes. I handled the flight controls. Oh. Unbelievable. Shown up by a little girl. Kids these days. That's pretty amazing, <laughs> even for a realian. Hey, that insignia on your uniform. Yes? Is that... Are you from the Mizrahi lab? You know of it? Yes, I'm a 100... I'm an observational realian. It's okay, you don't have to worry. If you're concerned about government secrets, Cosmos is one too. With so the 100 series? you're a 100 series, series observational realian from the Mizrahi lab. A Hilbert There's model, a secret? right? Cosmos is equipped with it too, you know. The Hilbert effect. But of course, ours is a Vector original. You're with Vector Industries? Yep. So is Alan hey. over there. Who? Me alone. <laughs> By the way, where are you headed? We might be able to get you there for a small fee if it's not too far out of the way. Right, Captain? Yeah, of course. After all, we are in the transport business. Transport? Then could you please take us to Second Mill... Could you please take us to the second Milshan star system? Second <laughs> Milsha? You too? What do you mean, you too? Oh, um, it's just a strange coincidence, that's all. We're all Cosmos going there. new deployment is on second Milsha also. Hey, that's great. It'll cost less if you're all going the same way, Xion. Well, I suppose that's true. 